channel guys <clears throat> today I am going to be making a stand for a mannequin torso to display a military uniform um, I was gonna intend for this to be a uh, show you how to do it and I was gonna make the base out of um, just plywood and do like a 12 by 12 base but I was kind of searching through my garage and from you know spending six years in the steel industry kind of realized I've got a lot of scrap steel so this is probably not going to really be helpful um, unless you also just happen to have a lot of scrap steel in your garage and you've got the tools like a welder and shit like that the angle grinder cut off wheel whatever um, <clears throat> so this would be less of a uh, how-to and just more of a hey this is how I did it um, but you could do the same concept but instead of doing a steel base uh, just do a base out of thicker wood like like a 12 by 12 plywood. I initially did my base out of this and the dowel sat in there but uh, this just wasn't big enough. I didn't have a big enough piece of wood laying around and I wasn't gonna go buy one. Um, this is just the the bigger the biggest one I had. It just wasn't enough. I think it's only nine inches and just for the weight of the mannequin plus the uniform plus the belt the helmet and plus the stuff I'm gonna be adding to it. This wasn't enough so it was really you know, if you adjusted it wrong, it'd start to tip. So either a bigger piece of plywood, like a 12 by 12 or something like that, that's really got the more surface area would be really good. Or I just ended up using a piece of 5 16 inch thick steel. Um, I just had a couple of these guys laying around. Sorry that it's not a how-to and more of just like, this is what I did, but it is what it is. So the first thing I did was I bought this guy off Amazon for like 39 bucks. Just relatively cheap, um, hollow plastic. So then after I uh, got that piece of 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths inch round, um, I just marked out where the middle was, and then I've still got some extra scrap um, I think Schedule 40 or Schedule 80 one inch pipe uh, laying around. So I just took a piece of that, cut it about six inches, and just uh, I'm going to weld that to the uh, 5 16 inch plate right in the middle. Um, and some of them already have holes drilled in it, so I'm just going to drill some more holes. So that way when I set the dowel in there, I can just drive a screw through there so it's extra secure. And this will be about six inches tall just to give that, uh, that one inch dowel a little bit more stability. So... Not the best welds ever, but oh well, I'm not good at welding. <laughs> Functional, but not pretty at all. And I sanded the first six inches of that dowel down so it'll fit into that better.
I'm not going to go into any detail about the jacket or anything like that. Um, I'll do that in a different video, but I just wanted to show you. That's what it ended up being like. I thought it was going to be a little crooked because of my poor welding skills, but actually it didn't come out too bad. And then that's just sitting right on that block. And that thing is pretty, pretty sturdy. That's not going anywhere. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, Hope you enjoyed it, and as per usual, like, subscribe, uh, comment, all that good stuff, and uh, until next time, be good.